what the battle axe of the Dane, the sword of the Norman, and the wile of the Saxon were unable to perform, we have accomplished ourselves. We have at last broken the continuity of Irish life, and just at the moment when the Celtic race is presumably about to largely recover possession of its own country, it finds itself deprived and stripped of its Celtic characteristics, cut off from the past, yet scarcely in touch with the present. It has lost, since the beginning of this century, almost all that connected it with the era of Cúchulain and of Ushin, that connected it with the Christianizers of Europe, that connected it with Brian Beru and the heroes of Clintarf, with the O'Neills and the O'Donnells, with Rory O'Moore, with the Wild Geest, and even to some extent the men of 98. It has lost all that they had. Language, traditions, music, genius and ideas. Just when we should be starting to build up a new the Irish race and the Gaelic nation, as within our own recollection Greece has been built up anew. We find ourselves despoiled of the bricks of nationality. The old bricks that lasted 1800 years are destroyed. We must now set to, to bake new ones, if we can, on other ground and of other clay, 